going to be playing Fallout New Vegas, which I've never played before. Never played any of the Fallout games. Start a new game. Yes, because I haven't even started the other one. I was just in character creation. Atomic fire consumed the earth. Those who survived did so in great underground vaults. When they opened, their inhabitants set out across the ruins of the old world to build new societies, establishing villages, forming tribes. As decades passed, what had been the American Southwest united beneath the flag of the new California Republic dedicated to old world values of democracy and the rule of law. As the Republic grew, so did its needs. Scouts spread east, seeking territory and wealth in the dry and merciless expanse of the Mojave Desert. They returned with tales of a city untouched by the warheads that had scorched the rest of the world and a great wall spanning the Colorado River. The NCR mobilized its army and sent it east to occupy Hoover Dam and restore it to working condition. But across the Colorado, another society had arisen under a different flag. A vast army of slaves forged from the conquest of 86 tribes, Caesar's Legion. Four years have passed since the Republic held the dam just barely against the Legion's onslaught. The Legion did not retreat. Across the river, it gathers strength. Campfires burn, training drums beat. Through it all, the New Vegas Strip has stayed open for business under the control of its mysterious overseer, Mr. House, and his army of rehabilitated tribals and police robots. You are a courier, hired by the Mojave Express to deliver a package to the New Vegas Strip. What seemed like a simple delivery job has taken a turn for the worse. You got what you were after, so pay up. You're crying in the rain, Pally. <laughs> Guess who's waking up over here? Time to cash out. Will you get it over with? Maybe cons kill people without looking them in the face. But I ain't a fink, Dig. You've made your last delivery, kid. Sorry you got twisted up in this scene. From where you're kneeling must seem like an 18 karat run of bad luck. The truth is, the game was rigged from the start.
Not gonna lie, first time I've ever actually watched that intro cutscene. Only the second time I booted up the game, first time I made it to, I just skipped through it to get to this point where I could do the character customization. Turn subtitles. Yes. Now I hope you don't mind, but I had to go rooting around there in your noggin to pull all the bits of lead out. I take pride in my needlework, but you better tell me if I left anything out of place. How'd I do? I'm just going to click randomize. That's the character we're going to go with. Choose a random number 1 to 10 to choose the preset. And this is 10. This is 4, so I'll click randomize. 1, 2, 3, 4 times. Very, very pale. There's a lot of options. I, are there any fun presets? I'll go, go with bright pink hair. go with a lot of charisma, a lot of intelligence, there we go, we'll go with this. Not much for combat, more for talking. Good. 
Well, you know, you're vital, I guess. But that don't mean them bullets didn't leave you nutter than a big one and drop them. What do you say you take a seat in my couch and we go through a couple of lessons? See if your dogs are still barking. I'm gonna say a word. I want you to say the first thing that comes to mind. Dog. Cat. House. Burglarize. Night. Campfire. Enemy. Swiss cheese. Light. Torch. Mother. Uh, cookie jar. They sound like something you've said. First one, conflict just ain't in my nature. I ain't given to relying on others for support. I'm always fixing to be the center of attention. Hell yeah. I'm slow to embrace new ideas. Eh. I charge in to deal with my problems head on. No. Almost done here. What do you say you have a look at this? Tell me what you see. I like the angry two out of dance. How about this one? I don't think it's any of these, but I'll go with the bearded man. Well, that's all she wrote. I don't have nothing to compare it to, so maybe you'd better just have a look at the results. See if it all seems right. So I'm really good with explosives. Wish I was better at lock picking than that. Barter's good. Beach. Survival. Yeah, sure, that seems good. Before I turn you loose, I need one more thing from you. We got a form for you to fill out so I can get a sense of your medical history. Just a formality. Ain't like I expect to find you got a family history of getting shot in the head. Sure, not for the faint of heart or the sace of temperament. That one sounds good. And let's go with heavy handed. All right, I guess that about does it. Come with me, I'll see you out. On me just stealing your stuff. Here, these are yours. It was all you had on you when you were brought in. I hope you don't mind, but I gave you nowhere to look, and I thought it might help me find the next of kin. But it was just something about a platinum chip. Well, if you're heading back out there, you ought to have this. They call it a Pip Boy. I grew up in one of them vaults they made before the war. We all got one. 
Ain't much use to me now, but you might want such a thing after what you've been through. I know what it's like having something taken from you. And put this on, too, so the locals don't pick on you for lack of modesty. It was my wife's. I think she was about your size, and she hardly wore it after we left the vault. Felt it was too brazen. You what do I do now? Miles before you leave town. She can help you learn to fend for yourself in the desert. She'll likely be at the saloon. I reckon some of the other folks at the saloon might be able to help you out too. And the metal fella, Victor, will pull you out of your grave. Anyway, you ever get hurt out there, you come right back. I'll fix you up. But try not to get killed anymore. All in New Vegas allows you to play a new hardcore mode that greatly increases the challenge of the game. I'm going to not do it in hardcore mode. Beat up this dude's fence for a bit. Alright. Now where am I going? Oh, I have dynamite. <laughs> Alright, good start. Don't punch Victor. Got it. Howdy, partner! Might I say you're looking fit as a fiddle? I'm always ready to lend a helping hand to a stranger in need. I was out for a stroll that night when I heard the commotion up the old bone orchard. Saw what looked like a bunch of bad eggs, so I laid low. Once they'd run off, I dug you up to see if you were still kicking. Turns out you were, so I hauled you off to the dock right quick. Oh, and it sounds like it. Sounds like it crashed. Well, I tried. Why? How does it react like a disc is scratched when it's no disc?
up the old bone orchard. Once they had run off, can't say that I'm familiar with the rascals. Some of the fine folks in town might be able to help you out with that. I moseyed into town, oh, 10, 15 years ago. Before that, I, um, I can't quite seem to recall. Odd. Anyway, it's a right peaceful town, and I reckon it's as fine a place to settle as any. I'm a Securitron. Robco Security Model 2060B. If you ever see any of my brothers, tell them Victor says howdy. Happy trails! You must be the one Doc Mitchell was patching up. The way I heard it, I didn't think you'd be walking out of that office. I've got plenty of supplies for sale. Even got some weapon mods and special ammo. Well worth the caps if you ask me. If you're hurting for caps, I've also got boxes of surplus ammo in the miscellaneous section. They're not great, but you get what you pay for. It's all about quantity over quality. Trouble is, you'll be cleaning and fixing your gun a lot more than usual when you use those kind of bullets. Weapon mods are things like silencers, scopes, bigger magazines. Special ammo includes things like armor-piercing bullets, which don't hurt the target as much, but let you punch through armor easier. There's also hollow point bullets, which have the opposite effect. You can kill unarmored targets easier, but they don't do shit against armor. The leader was a New Vegas type. Typical city boy. He had a bunch of great cons with him, probably hired guns. The great cons normally stay in their own territory way up northwest, on account of them being enemies with the NCR. Twice.
What I feel like the carton of cigarettes might come in handy. Oh, it's because I have 26 caps, that's why. I was like, man, I sure can buy a lot. No. Uh. Boxing glove and cleavers. Another satisfied customer. Take it easy now. I want to steal his harmonica. Oh, okay, cool. Those are like where I can craft shit. Cheyenne, stay. Don't worry, she won't bite unless I tell her to. Geckos mostly. The meat's pretty good, and I can always find a buyer for the hides. I also help keep the town clear of rat scorpions and coyotes. Not many people live in Good Springs, so wildlife is always creeping in. Not in Good Springs, no. But if you're up for a little scavenging, there's always the schoolhouse. Most of what's in there is junk, but there's this old safe that even Easy Pete wasn't able to crack with dynamite. If you want to take a shot at it, take these. If the lock's too much for you to handle, reading through the magazine might give you the edge you need. You'll need those to pick the lock. Be careful, though. Put too much pressure on them, and they'll snap. Always happy to help someone down on their luck. Sure, what do you want to know? Southeast of here is Prim. Can't miss it. Since it has the giant old roller coaster right in the middle of town. The NCR's got an outpost there. If you follow the road north, you'll eventually hit Sloan and Quarry Junction. They mine rocks or something, but I heard they got troubles lately. I wouldn't head that direction if I were you, though. Got critters up there that don't take kindly to getting shot. The New California Republic. Bunch of settlers and soldiers coming in from the west, fixing on making Nevada their own. They can be right pushy, but the roads are safer because of them, so I tend to let it go. Not that I got a choice. Well, the wildlife for one thing, rowdy locals for another. They're protecting their own. Just happens to help us. They've been holding off this other group from the east, too. Around here, mostly coyotes and geckos. The coyotes are pretty dangerous in large packs, but otherwise they're nothing to really worry about. The geckos aren't too tough, but they've got a nasty bite. I've heard about bigger, nastier versions out in the wasteland, but I've never seen them. Stick to the roads when you can, and steer clear of the hills north of Good Springs. The critters up there are big and poisonous. If you want to know anything else, just ask. Sure can. Take the road southeast out of town till it hits the freeway. Prim is the town with a roller coaster straight south. Can't miss it. NCR patrols do a good job of keeping the highway clear, but I'd keep your gun where you can reach it easily. You never know who you'll run into. Off the road, you'll probably start running into hostile wildlife. My advice would be to stick to the highway when you can. 
Yeah, I guess there's a thing or two I could show you. Sounds like you need all the help you can get after what they done to you. Meet me outside, behind the saloon. Way too many strangers coming into town these days. No offense. And if you're looking for supplies, Chet over at the general store can help you out. Howdy. Way too many strangers coming into town these days. No offense. What can Easy Pete do for you? The one in the fancy suit seemed to be calling the shots. That's as much as I know. Other folks in town might know more. Word of advice, though, if you ever catch up with him, watch out. The man's got cold eyes like a snake. Can't be trusted, I'd say. Was a prospector until I decided to settle here to get away from the NCR. Now, we'll just take it easy and help out with the Brahmin and Bighorners. Nah, nah. Means I poke through old buildings looking for working tech and such. Some folks just call it salvaging, but never like the term. The way I see it, salvage means it's broken, near worthless. Me, I look for the good stuff. Guns, chems, spare parts. Good money in it. Nope. Had a pretty good claim once, way out east by the river, but got run off by raiders. Eventually got too old to keep going out. Don't get me wrong, the NCR's got a lot of decent folk in it. It's just that they make you part of them whether you like it or not. Towns like Good Springs and Prim don't stay independent for long. Not if you've got something the NCR wants. Still, the NCR keeps the Legion away. They're slavers, led by a guy named Caesar, or Kaisar. Not sure how you're supposed to say it. A couple of years ago, they tried to take over Hoover Dam, but the NCR beat them back. The NCR didn't or couldn't finish the job, though. The Legion's got its strength back, and is getting ready for another round at the dam. My money's still on the NCR winning, but you never know. We've been hearing stories about legionaries on the Nevada side of the river, so keep a gun handy. You don't want to get caught by them. The dam powers a lot of New Vegas, and then there's all that clean water lying in Lake Mead, too. Anybody who owns the dam owns the territory. Meat and hide, mostly. Can't put a pack on them. They just lay down until you take it off. Can find a bunch of wild ones high up in the hills, but gotta be careful around them. They can put up a decent fight if cornered. The machine? Harmless, no matter what Trudy says. She thinks it's hiding something, but I think it's just a broken down relic with no place to be. Keep your gun handy if you go poking around some of the abandoned places around here, like the schoolhouse. Critters move in there sometimes. I don't even have a gun. Keep handy.
Now, see the sarsaparilla bottles on the fence there? Take this and try to hit a couple of them. That's the right idea. Look down the sight. Try crouching down and... Nice shot. Well, that's a start. But I don't reckon you came to me to learn to fight sarsaparilla bottles. Tell you what. I gotta go chase geckos away from our water supply anyway. Darn critters are attracted to it. Why don't you come along? Follow me. It's just down to the southeast a short ways. Much tutorial as I can. I'm awful at these kinds of games. Oh, so that's how I crouch up. Everything all right? Well, let's just finish this first, all right? Then we could talk. Preferably somewhere where I can get a stiff drink and Cheyenne can keep cool. Hear that up on the ridge behind me there? We got some geckos to clear out. Bunch of little monsters is what they are. Seems like Doc Mitchell treats more gecko bites than anything else. Let's see if we can get a little closer. If we move quietly, we can get the jump on them. More likely to hit something vital that way. Okay, you're on. Go give them hell. See? You're getting the hang of it. There's two more wells that still need clearing. You want, you can come along. It'd be worth a few caps to me. Shouldn't take more than a couple minutes, especially with two of us. Come with me.
Ah, oh, hell's bells. There's not a day passes by I don't tell people not to come here by themselves. Some people, your word just isn't good enough for them. Then this happens. Well, it's a part of life out here. Best to accept it. But you did what you promised. Staying out here with me. Here's my end of the deal. One more thing I wanted to show you. Fifty bottle caps. Thought I might teach you about living off the land and making useful things for yourself. Interested? All right then. Continue on the tutorial. To get started. Gonna want some Xander root and a Brock flower. Let me think now. I know I've seen Brock flowers growing up at the graveyard, and I seem to remember there being Xander root over by the schoolhouse. Bring those on back to me, and we'll get cooking. Everything all right? Until next time. Ah! And just nothing. Just oh. Oh, there you are. Return boost, good to know. Oh, wait, good to know. All right.
You eyeballing me? You eyeballing me? Oh, here's the world map. Okay. Travel back to Good Springs. Finish my tutorial. If you're looking for supplies, Chet over at the general store can help you out.
Why don't you just move on to another town? Off to the cemetery.
welcome back. I had hoped you wouldn't need to come see me again so soon. What can I do for you? Why don't you just move on to another town? I've got you now. Come on! Sometimes I'm probably gonna need to restart this save since I've managed to get myself shunned immediately and also I forgot what I'm supposed to be doing for the tutorial already. <laughs> a Brock flower and a Xander root. I couldn't find fucking either of those. I'm gonna go ahead and end off for this stream, about an hour in, though I've done absolutely zero progress. <laughs>